Other novel approaches in HTC are really difficult at the moment. We had great hopes for the uh, Tivantinib trial, which has been recently published. The trial was based on a phase two trial, which indicated that CMET in HTC could be a negative prognostic marker, and that patients that have CMET high tumors would derive a benefit from treatment with um, Tivantinib. And based on the phase two um, data, a phase three study has been um, initiated and has now been reported. Unfortunately, there was no, uh, the, the study was completely negative. And interestingly, in two respects. First of all, it has the longest median overall survival that has been ever reported in a second line trial, which indicated that CMET is not such a negative prognostic marker since all these patients had a really long median overall survival. And unfortunately, it's not only a negative prognostic marker, it's also not a predictive marker because the patients did not derive any benefit um, from Tivantinib. So biomarker-driven trials are really difficult at the moment in HTC. We have one biomarker AFP, which we do not really understand, but based on the REACH, two, uh, REACH 1 study, we have the impression that patients would derive a benefit from ramucirumab if they have tumors with a high AFP levels. And based on this first phase three study, a new phase three study has been started, the REACH 2 study, which only includes patients with high AFP. And we have to see whether AFP is really a reasonable biomarker in HTC. Otherwise, we do not really have good, t we, have, we have a better understanding of um, genetic lesions in HTC, but so far there are no really um, promising candidates that would lead to systemic therapies in the very near um, future. So I think at the moment, the most likely next steps will include combination therapies, and here the combination of immunotherapies with local therapies or other systemic therapies such as lenvatinib or regorafenib most likely um, are the most promising um, candidates. So biomarkers is really a good question in HCC, and um, we just learned with the Tivantinib trial that if you have a biomarker-driven study, uh, it can also be negative. And uh, all the drugs which have, have been shown to be effective in HCC, namely sorafenib, regorafenib, lenvatinib, and even nivolumab, we didn't have really good biomarkers to predict the treatment. Um, it was all the three targeted, uh, the three drugs, sorafenib, regorafenib, and lenvatinib are also all at um, TKIs, which have a broad mode of action. It's not specific. And also the immunotherapeutics, such as nivolumab, we don't have a good biomarker because we found that the PDL1 expression, which is quite often used for to predict treatment efficacy in patients with immunotherapy, was not active. It was not there was no big issue between uh, no, no big difference between the patients who get PDL1 high or PDL low PDL1 low um, tumors. So I think it's really a good question, a difficult question to answer. I think there are some interesting data if you could um, target stemness. So there is BBI608 in colorectal cancer and other diseases, which will also test it in HCC. So it's a stemness way. And also I think wind signaling will be interesting. But I think at this time we don't really know what kind of uh, target therapy we will see.